Johnny, there's a lot of news at the moment about stuff from outer space, aliens and all that sort of shit. Oh yes, Johnny, there's a lot of interest out there. There's that bloody thing, that Minotaur, that bloody mono, Minos, blah, blah. If Oumuamua is a spaceship, then we may have a space invasion problem on our hands. And uh, they still don't know what that is. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Join us as we dig deeper into this image and how the discovery of Oumuamua has changed the world of science and space. And just recently, Johnny, in Dublin, Ireland, yes, that's right, in Dublin, Ireland, in Dublin, Ireland, some bloke was walking along the beach with his bloody dog and he came across this. Colette, this is the crater that stopped Dave Kennedy in his tracks yesterday. Holy shit! Have a look at that bloody thing! Well, as you say, he was walking his beach here along Port Marnock Beach in Dublin. We're joined by Dave now. Uh, Dave, tell us, what was your reaction when you came across this? Uh, complete shock, to be honest. I was walking along just with the dog and came across the impact site. Fortunately enough, I love space and exploration and uh, astrophysics, so I was a bit surprised when I saw it, but I knew immediately that it was an impact site. Uh, now he reckons it's a bloody meteor hole, and he even dug around in the bottom of the hole and found the bloody meteor itself. And then lo and behold, right in the middle of it was the rock. Tell us about this rock. What, what about it made you think that this has to be a meteor strike? So I noticed by the way it came in and where it was landed, it had created the big mound around, so that was everything from the inside that was blown out. But it's just the, the actual weight of it and its density, you're definitely going to have to get it checked to see what it's made of. Now there's no need to bloody go down the track of how dangerous that could be. On a bloody public beach, uh, when you're walking along with your bloody dog or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and all of a sudden out of the sky comes a flaming bloody pile of meteorite that slams into the bloody beach just in front of you. Now, Jesus, if that come down uh, when you're walking with your kids or something, it'd be terrible. And tell us about the markings on it. So. Across here you can actually see, see the way it's just scoring? So that would have happened as it's coming through the atmosphere and, and it was burning up. So that would have left the mark here before it made impact. It's very small, isn't it? But what does it feel like and what did it look like? I mean, seeing the impact that it made here on the beach. So when you feel it, it actually feels like about three bags of sugar. So it's actually extremely heavy. The way I saw it, when I actually, I was mind blown when I actually looked in and actually saw the rock itself. And it's the color of it as well, it's quite dark. It's like coal. But yet, it's, it's as solid and as heavy and dense. Brilliant. Well, look, obviously it still needs to be checked, but as it stands, this is a suspected meteor strike here in Port Marnock in County Dublin. Now, Johnny, we're going to follow this story. I don't think this is the end of it. We're going to follow this story, and we're going to get back to it as soon as we get any more news. <laughs> Yes, we're back, Johnny. What's the latest on this bloody incredible story? Well, here we are, Johnny. It's been 24 hours, and we've got some fresh news on this shocking bloody meteor incident in, in, in Ireland. Anyway, yeah, the, the myth here was busted thanks to video footage of the hole being dug, making its way to social media, literally because the dudes were proud of the hole they dug, and they should be. Yeah, it's a fine hole. <laughs> what? Now, it appears that the hole it wasn't, it wasn't made by a meteorite, it was in fact made by some teenagers that dig in the fucking hole with some spades. Follow video. Lads, I'm in bits. Virgin Media News is after reporting on a hole on post Marnock Beach that could be the aftermath of a cosmic event. Some fellas literally dug it the day before with a kid's shovel. <laughs> the way your man was talking about the rock being an asteroid had me in tears. And here's the video, which is enhanced by the fact that the on-screen text over the video simply reads, the hole we dug on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, them showing it off and being like, yep, here's that hole we, we were talking about. Nobody believed us. So hell. Yeah, apparently there's a bit of a trend of people digging big holes in beaches. And these uh, young folks come along and <laughs> just... I did. King from up above. As you can tell by here, there's a scorch mark on this side here. So that would have been at the angle that it came down at. And uh, it is weighty. I'm not sure if it's composition, but we're definitely going to have to find out. So are you saying, Johnny, that, that, that this bloke in bloody Dublin was walking along the beach? He found this fucking great big hole there and he, he just assumed straight away it was from a bloody meteor? The striking hole soon caught the attention of passers-by, many hoping that what they're witnessing 
is the aftermath of a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. And the poor dickhead has gone around the world looking like he's a bloody... he's a dickhead. Hug and came across the impact site. Fortunately enough, I love space and exploration and uh, astrophysics, so I was a bit surprised when I saw it, but I knew immediately that it was an impact site. And then, lo and behold... <laughs> I mean, who would know these days? Who would know?